Nobody's having it. Nobody wants this to happen. Oh? Oh. from Austin, Texas, with a real-time reenactment of the events of River City Ransom. It's Retro Pals with Danny and Alex. Hello, Alex. Hello, Danny. Who got kidnapped? Uh, no one got kidnapped. Oh, I was God. thinking of uh, just doing it, like, without all the punching people and the kidnapping. I was thinking we could just, like, go down the street and stop in every store and just order the entire menu. I was going to say, are we going to barf? We're going to boost our stats. Oh, okay, good. So, I yeah, we're going to barf and boost. Ah, damn it. The double B. <laughs> Hey everybody, we're going to play some video games tonight. We got some 8-bit brawlers. We got uh, people punching people, people kicking people. Mm -hmm. They're throwing each other around. It's pandemonium out there. Yeah, it's, don't go don't go outside. Go. Uh, there's a weather alert. There's too many boys yeah, fighting. Yeah, yeah. The alert today is uh, red for too many men fighting. We're fighting men. Too many. <laughs> All right, Alex, why don't you thank some folks? I want to thank some folks who subbed and donated before the show. Thank you, Blab, for the 28-month resub. Do appreciate that. Thank, thank you, you, Revenant. 34 months hiring Cunio and the boys to come throw these Twitch ads into a dumpster. I they hate them. Still too. doing that tape ad? Thank you. Thank you, Rachel Retro. 55. Lucky number 55 months. Double Dragon and Kunio Kun. The ultimate team. They are the That's ultimate what that team. game should have been. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Yaddle 100 bits. I got punch and drop my bits. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Devil Race 60 whole months. Wow. Wow. That's Thank almost five years. Thank you, Fire Mound. Two whole years with 24 months. Oh, God, please don't punch me until I turn into a bouncing coin. Okay, got it. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, Skellicaster. Six-month resub. Do appreciate that. Thank, Thank you, you. Cambrian Era. 43-month resub. Hot-blooded pals. Ora, 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 ora. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. Perfect, Absolutely. Perfectly delivered, Alex. Thank you. Thanks, and everybody. And thank you, Maple 100. Just to appreciate that. Yeah, we thank you. We, we, we punch too many we punch too many people in chat and they're dropping bits everywhere it's really a disaster nice this is a really good uh, gimmick we got going on no here. stop I, I don't like the idea of beating people up in chat that sounds counterproductive they're willing turn they're willingly turning themselves into coins it's like the perfect grip I mean short term yes but long term they're we're, they're gonna have broken bones and I don't know if that's good for us mm, we'll worry about that lady later on <laughs> thank, thank you lady <laughs> Lanali a 52 month reset but we didn't even have to Punch you. Oh, God. <laughs> Thank you for that. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to beat up a bunch of punks tonight. But yeah. first of all, let's see how the patron poll went. This week's theme was dueling Switch compilations of old retro games. The choices were Atari Flashback Classics and the Double Dragon and Kunio Kun Retro Brawler Bundle. Double Dragon and Kunio Kun won out. It was a really close fight. It was uh, <laughs> unusually violent. <laughs> Due to all the punching and kicking and whatnot. A lot of punching, a lot of kicking, and I think that's the, why they won, because Atari yeah. didn't have a chance. All the Atari could do was go, eh, ah. Yeah, go, whoop, whoop, Yeah, it could, make, it could make weird threatening noises, but it has no uh, fists or feet to back Not that even up. in television, so it couldn't even threaten us physically. Thank you, White Taxi, 33-month resub. Oh, one punch, please. There you Okay, we got it. <laughs> Thank, you. Thank you, Deacon Thee, two-month resub. Ah, oh, fuck yeah, dude. I love Renegade for the ZX Spectrum. I don't know if that this one is on that collection. It's a so. classic. It's a classic for Thank sure. You. Are we ready to do this? Uh, I think so. Let's go. Double Dragon and Kunio Kun. Retro Brawler Bundle came out for Nintendo Switch and PS4 a couple years ago, I think. And conveniently, this game allows you to uh, experience all these games in the year of their original release, chronologically. So basically, they put together a Retro Pal show without me having to do any work. I was going to say, this work. is just, they did all the work for you. <laughs> mm-hmm. Pretty nice, pretty nice. This is what it looks like. Looks good. Looking good. Got all the box art. Man, and there is some good box art for this series. Look at all that. I love them. I love them in their serious, like, 50s outfits. I'm glad they're showcasing the U.S. box art especially, because, man, this series has looked different for every single game they released over here in the States. And here's the, the Japanese side I love things. Stoic Kunio-kun on the side. They didn't go with that for long, but I love him when he's in his, like, Stoic mood. 
Oh yeah, it's split off into a sub-series, it's a whole thing. We got a lot of history to explore tonight. We got dueling franchises that crossed over and crossed against, spun off into their own different things, and then eventually died. It was a tragic story. Let's play some games. Alex, here's your controller. Oh! Yeah, I'm playing. Spartanberry, 39 month resub. I remember Chibo destroyed the Double Dragon universe already. Please do your best, Retro Pals. <laughs> Thank you. Let's start at the very beginning. This game, okay. right here. And look at this. This is in English for the first time. This uh, this Japanese version of uh, Renegade is called Neketsu Koha Kunio Kun in Japan. Uh, notably, this collection localizes and fully translates every single one of the Japanese exclusive games. So we're going to get to see these in English for the first time. That rules. And you actually know the story now. Hiroshi, Kunio's friend, is, uh, you know, he's always been bullied. Meanwhile, Kunio, you know him. He's a passionate guy who can't stand bullies. No, he can't. He loves to beat the shit out of them. Wow, that's the whole story, huh? <laughs> <laughs> I guess I shouldn't expect too much depth. It's just after, like... What was that, 35 years? I expected some kind of grand sweeping storyline to start out. But no, it's just Kunio has a friend who gets bullied. That's the story. I I feel for his friend. Why is his friend bullied so much? Well, is he kind out. of a leaner? There's Hiroshi. Yo! And yeah, the, the screen is 4x3, it's just the uh, <laughs> menus that are 16x9, so mm -hmm. he ain't missing nothing. Let me play this video game. This is only single player. Some of these games are cooperative two player, okay. in which case Alex will uh, join in. Can you uh, turn this down a little bit for us? Oh gosh, yes. There. If you're familiar with this game at all, it's probably due to uh, knowing the US release Renegade, which we'll get to in a second. But this is the original. It's about uh, Japanese school kids in their school uniforms beating each other up in the subway, as was common back then. As you do, hey, you got an achievement. There's achievements in this? You, you did, yeah, apparently. Uh, I'm pretty sure this is only the NES uh, Famicom Kunio Kun Double Dragon games, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, Kunio Kun is so tall here. It's so weird. Yeah, this He's is serious so Kunio. This this whole series started off like semi-serious at least. Eventually, it became you know full-blown comedy. But at least in the beginning, this was a semi-serious story of what it was like to be bullied in high school. You have a friend who has to beat up the entire rest of the school. It's very inconvenient. No one. No one beat up all my school bullies. Well, I don't get know, it. You didn't know Kunio. This is the easiest way to play this game. You want to go with jump kicks all day. This NES version added in some non-linearity, by which I mean... It introduces multiple doors at the end of some segments, and one door takes you back, and one door takes you forward. Mm. I think in this first level, uh, both doors take you forward, but later on it becomes a maze thing people love the most in beat em ups People love mazes. If there's one thing I know about people, they love mazes, especially teleporter mazes. And look who's here, it's Riki. He's, uh, he's not Kunio's friend just yet. They're bitter rivals. Get to see the start of a beautiful friendship form here. I guess, of a, a, a fist friendship. Hey, some friends show their friendship with fists. Danny, you're absolutely right. Don't change that at all. We beat Ricky. And what's Kunio got to say? Beat it, scum. And they were best friends ever since. <laughs> That's how it works. This is a short game. Let's see how far I can get. Okay. I don't think I've ever actually beaten it. Oh, come to think of it, I probably won't because level four is a huge maze. Yeah, no mazes. Uh... I love their pink jumpsuits. That's official outfits of punks. I 
guess, I guess things are different in Japan. Here are punks, you know, spikes and stuff. I guess over there they were all about pink jumpsuits looking like uh, Elvis and whatever. Yeah, Elvis has pink jumpsuits. <laughs> I don't know, I'm trying to think of someone who wore like a pink jumpsuit and... I know that people in the 70s wore that, but I, do, I can't think of anyone else. Jumpsuit's not so much popular nowadays. They They're of... coming back. Oh, are they? One, like, yeah, One Piece jumpers are coming back, so, so the jumpsuit should be coming back. I'll hold you to that. Men, 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 and women, and anyone else. This is how you're going to be dressing in three years. It's all sick. Take it all in. Oh, hey! Forgot about these guys. Hey, this guy's got your ass. Yeah, well, he also has a motorcycle, so... Not anymore. God. Coveralls are like a jumpsuit, yes. My main memory of this game is going over to a, a young cousin's house and finding out that they had a renegade for NES. We got stuck at the very next part because we couldn't figure out what to do. Because we were very young and stupid children. Bimo, they're going to specifically make, uh, like, short, short jumpsuits for, uh, Texans because it's so high. See, we tried to just bump these people off the road, which you can do all day. Uh-huh. And it doesn't really do much of anything and just gets you killed. Alright, what are you supposed to do? You little dweeb! <laughs> You're supposed to kick the guys. Uh. But oh. they 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 rumble so satisfyingly, you know. You just want to crash into them. Can you blame little kids not wanting to have a fair motorcycle race instead of just having a punch and kick like Honestly, a caveman? I I I would have I would have done the same thing. Yes, this is Final Fantasy VII, but uh, do you make? Mhm. Mm this is Cloud, and uh, there is um, Biggs. I don't think we're killing these people. I'm assuming they just, you know, at the end we're gonna meet them all in the hospital and shake their hands. It's exactly. Okay. okay, that guy, Shinji, is at least 30. What is he doing beating you up? <laughs> well, he's not at the high school. Look at he's that just... car. This is, this is just some man in the park who's just like, yeah, I'm gonna beat this. He's drunk, he's day drunk, and he's ready to beat you up. He goes down to the high school, he's like, I can kick your kids' asses. Just, just let me do it. <laughs> the speedrunner is, uh this game called this level boss Billy Joel because his sprite was redone to look exactly like Billy Joel. He... Yeah, okay. Not so much here in the Japanese one, but... I, I get the vibe, though, from the outfit. Mm -hmm. So it is so... No, it's just you're, be you're getting beaten up by Billy Joel. It's Billy Joel. It's canonically Billy Joel. Eat shit, Billy. <laughs> oh, beat it, scum. Beat it, Billy. So a lot of series traditions are being introduced here in a kind of roundabout sort of way. This was intended to just be a one and done this sort of game. That's how they did back then. Just come up with a cool concept, make a video game, worry about the franchising. Actually never. <laughs> up until a point. Then they came, there came a point, we call it 1987, when it was all franchises, franchises, franchises. Uh, the start of the IP era. But here, you could just come up with a, a brilliant idea, like beating up ladies who have bricks in their purses. That's the official story from Renegade for NES. Okay. They put bricks in their purses, and they're out to, to beat up on some men. Fair enough. Not much else to do on Saturday night. Gotta admit, that wouldn't have occurred to me as a kid, putting a brick in your purse. Smart, though. Yeah, it is. I'm thinking we should go uh, further with that. What if there are like fingernails that can be like brass knuckles? <laughs> I was gonna say like guns. I yeah. Mean, okay, guns. Yeah, that works. Gun fingers? Are we are we all gonna like turn into Astro Boy and shoot bullets out of our hands? I hope so. Okay. But for being such an early game, this has a great variety of moves you can do in addition to the jump dip. <laughs> The jump dip, the jump kick that I'm doing all the time. You can run and punch, you can run and kick. Uh, we go in here, I think, right? That's not right. It said beer out there. Mm. 
Who's that behind the counter? Why aren't they helping? They're like, none of my business. Y'all fight and be on your way. Okay, you're right. Sorry, I forgot that Astro Boy shot bullets from his ass, not his fingers. Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. He has a finger beam and an ass bullet. Ooh, that was a funky noise. Yeah, the portrait of the owner looks pretty sad about this. Oh, is that the owner up there? <laughs> I'm assuming. That's what chat's saying. <laughs> he's been dead for a good 20 years, and he's seen punks infiltrate this place. Oh, yeah, look at that. You can, you can like, jump off the walls and shit. That's cool. What a cool game this is, for how early it is. That's a Muppet. That's a puppet. Yeah, that that is some sort of puppet owner. Beat it, scum? Beat it, scum. All right, Alex, look up a walkthrough of stage four for Renegade. You, really? Yeah. Okay. This is the last level, so we might as well. Really, I just need to know the doors to go through. Okay. So which of these doors should I go through here? Um... Uh... You're gonna want to go to the right door, which is... I think that one. Sorry, the strategy with you fucking sucks. Look up a better guide. <laughs> uh, honey. I don't know, maybe someone has it memorized. Someone from back in the day is all like, left, right, center. Punch dude. You gotta do that at some point. Okay. Take the left door into Lucas's Twisted Labyrinth. <laughs> Aren't you glad you looked up that walkthrough no. now? <laughs> this one sucks. Lucas is twisted. <laughs> Alright, into the twisted labyrinth. Alright, we got a choice of three doors here. Left door. Okay. You know, I don't think I've ever beaten this game before. I've only ever watched speedruns. But, uh, in case you can't tell, the strats are pretty easy to pick up. See, sometimes you just want to walk into a wall. Alright, left door. That led outside. Or did you tell me right door? No, this says left door. And then, yeah, right door. Uh, it says take the left door and then take the left door. Did they change the route from the US and Japanese versions? Would they do that? Can you look at chat? Does anyone have any insight? No. Am I gonna be stuck in the twisted labyrinth forever? Okay, let's let's try this one, which has a different route. Go to go to um go to that door right there. This one? Yes. Okay. some dudes I have to talk to first. Okay. Did they put out twice as many dudes to punish me for going the wrong way? Because that's a cool mechanic. And there, there are a lot of dudes. Mm -hmm. It's the Labyrinth of Infinite Dudes, as spoken of in Legends. <laughs> This door. Yes. Okay, there's a cool race car poster in this uh, room. Does the guide say anything about a cool race car poster? Uh, it says that you should uh, enter room. Room. 
which would be, sorry, my bad, that would be uh, on your left. Okay. This is genuinely a better guy. I'll take your word for it. Because this one also said where the end were, like, going the wrong way. Was this is the left one? one? Yes. All right. And then you're going to go in the left door again. Dude, they got a hi-fi here. What do you think they're listening to? Uh, Peter Gabriel. Yeah, most likely. It's 87, so... Oh, look at it. It's, it's dual Rikis. Oh, man. He has a twin brother. Do you think they ever bring this up in the series? I think that the other brother died. I'm sorry. It's actually really tragic, and they don't talk about it. It's tragic. Yeah, it's really sad. Oh, no. I want the pig. Fuck you! He's gone. Fuck you! <laughs> hey! I think he and his uh, twin brother said that at the same time. There was an echo effect. <laughs> Whoa! What the? I froze time. We're so close to the end. I beat this for the first time on stream. It'll be a... It'll be a legendary gamer moment. But I don't think that's gonna happen. I think I'm gonna lose at the Twin Rikis. Why are they so strong? They are! This could be it for old Kunio. That's it. That's the end of the series. Kunio Kun died. <laughs> wow. We got lost in the Labyrinth of Madness, or whatever that one guy called it. Uh, his Wicked Labyrinth. It's pretty wicked. Yeah. And so Kunio Kun never saved his friend, and the series never began. Luckily, uh, these guys had other plans. These guys, I mean, uh, Technos. The Kunio Boys? The Kunio Boys. Well, let's check out Renegade briefly. Okay, they added a new title screen. They got rid of the little story with the dude, uh, getting kidnapped, because I don't think there is a story in this. It's just beat up all the punks. Let's start at maximum difficulty. No. Hey, look at this makeover. Weirdly enough, there's still ads for beer. Yeah, that is weird. You'd think they'd get rid of that. See, they call you a punk instead of a loser. It's called localization. Mm. Alright, it's basically the same game, only it got overhauled to be this guy, who is never heard from again, and is never part of any series. He's just some guy. He looks doofy. He is so doofy. Controls. Yeah. I know how controls work. So, with Renegade, aka Kunio Kun, dead and buried, it's time for the brothers to take over. The Double Dragon Brothers. Slick. <laughs> this. <laughs> I wish people could see the uh, the wallpaper for this. Can I just show them? Yeah, do okay, it. So let's take a sec. There's just a couple of dudes watching your gameplay, smooshing their faces into the screen. <laughs> Whoa, dude, look what's going on there. Some kind of video game? Let's put our face on it. Oh my fucking god. So I've universally rebound the controls in this game, which creates a variety of problems. You don't need to know about those. Grieger. What was that store name? Let's go shopping at Grieger. Okay, same basic principle. We're still punching and kicking dudes. But soon you're gonna see something magical. Something that was not in the original Renegade. Okay. Are you ready for this? Yes. This game has hella input lag. Like, not in the collection, just like naturally. 
You go to the right! Shit. Nobody ever thought to beat up dudes and go to the right before Double Dragon. Nobody correct me on that. <laughs> but it was a major renovation for the beat-em-up genre at large. And though this NES version of uh, Double Dragon is not really considered to be as good as the, uh, the arcade Double Dragon, it's still alright. It's an okay time to beat up some dudes. Alright, anyone want to tell me the major problem with this version? I'm sure someone knows. Um, it's got cool barrels. Yeah, that yeah, is, no that two is a Yeah, no two-player simultaneous. Yeah, that's kind of a big problem. Way back when, they could not make it happen. NES Double Dragon was not two-player. They'd fix that soon enough. Yeah, single dragon. <laughs> First time, though, this was pretty good. The kids wanted to play it. Everyone wanted to buy it. It was a huge success. So anyone remember this glitch? Where you go up the side of the wall and uh, fall down and stuff? All kinds of hilarious stuff happens. Fixed. There's optional quality updates in this collection that fix major glitches in the original Double Dragon games. It kind of blows my mind that they actually go through the effort and stuff. Oh, that's why it said quality up on it. Mm -hmm. That's wild. It also removes uh, slowdown and flicker. So in some ways, these are like the ultimate versions of these games. I like that because it gives you reason to actually buy this collection and not just play ROMs. They did stuff. They make it worth the money. I don't know if you can still cheese the second boss. What's the cheese on the... Oh yeah, probably. Or maybe they did fix that, where you can just leave. I almost got tricked. I was gonna say, almost fell off. This input lag is crazy. What the fuck is going on here? I think this may be my controller. Yeah, get down there, Abobo. There he You're goes. done. You're freaking done. You're done in this town, Abobo. <laughs> And that's the beginning of Double Dragon. Okay, Alex, can you hide the video while I do some controller stuff? Yeah, wow, it's in even lagged on the, the menu. Mm. Let's try and resync that shit. Well, a Bobo can raise his kids from hell now. <laughs> Hey! Listen, I'm just I'm just talking to chat. Okay, that's better. I'm just, you know. Wait, were they still they were still beating me up while I was in the menu? That's cruel and unusual. Alright, here we go. <laughs> Also, unlike the arcade game, this added an experience system, so you can only get moves like the jump kick by leveling up to at least level 3. Mm. How do you level? Just beat dudes up? Mm-hmm. Okay. You get more points for punching than kicking, but it's more risky. You get almost no points at all for hitting them with boxes. Or no points. Only trust your fists. I guess so. I... You'd think the box would count. Nah, it's just someone shipping bubble mailers or something. <laughs> just bounces right off. <laughs> and now that we've seen... Wow! Alright, we're fucking dead. That's it. Dynamite to the face. Billy Lee is legend Billy in Billy Lee scare. is really dead. <laughs> what an end. So what's next after that? You had a, a brawler that was arena-styled. You had a brawler that was side-scrolling. Next up, of course, is dodgeball. Club. That's what's wrong with America. We don't have dodgeball clubs. Mm -hmm. After the events of Renegade, everyone settled their differences, went back to high school, and formed a dodgeball club. Mm. Try the world play here, and then the U.S. version will try a, a two-player. Okay. What's that movie's doing? The I love that move. That that 
<laughs> I tried to do that, I hurt myself. I was gonna say, is Kunio okay? Yeah, maybe not. These are the actions of someone who just beat up his hero, Billy Joel, in the events of the previous game. <laughs> How I do dodgeball? Mm -hmm. There's some kind of community service for beating up one of our greatest uh, American musicians. <laughs> oh man, quality up in this is gonna be fucking amazing. Because the original had like slow down out the ass, it as did. they would say. Massive slowdown, massive flicker problems. Just because there were so many sprites on the screen all doing things individually. Power of this collection, you can experience this at, uh, well, not 60 FPS, <laughs> and it's not even 30 FPS, but how however many FPS this is, you can enjoy it now. Give me that. I like Double Dragon and Renegade that started out in arcades, and the arcade version even got a US release. I remember seeing this at a, a stop and go in San Antonio back in the day. It was the first time I, that was the first time I ever saw the old Super Dodgeball. Wow. I just love that Technos had this series that was kinda serious, and then instantly they were just like, nope, dodgeball. These little fuckers are gonna get miniaturized and they're gonna play dodgeball. And they were right. It's good. They were right to do it. it they died. You killed them all. It was an, it was an amazing choice. There's a whole bunch of ports of this. Uh, one of the better ones is on Neo Geo, even. Really? They, they made Super Dodgeball for Neo Geo. That's pretty darn good. So can you play the shitty versions of the game, or does it only let you play the quality up versions? Uh, you can actually go back and play the shitty versions of the games, too. You can disable the quality options, get all the weird glitches and double dragon good, and stuff. Good. I'm glad I got a chance to show off this collection, because they did... They went above and beyond the Call of Duty, as it were. They actually included features that people who would actually play these games would care about. It's not just minor additions to fill out bullet points or whatever, it's like specifically oriented towards people who want to play and finish these games and enjoy them. Pretty nice, gotta say. And occasionally we do want to show off ways that you can experience these old games in a good and affordable and actually not shitty way. <laughs> So many shitty collections out there. There are! There are! That's why I typically don't want retro game collections. I feel so bad! Yeah, because just... you can literally get a better experience through emulation. Mm hmm Like, without even considering the whole free aspect. Like, you can pay and get a worse experience, or you can get the true experience for free? Hmm. Yeah, I wonder. Basically. And then companies are all like, huh, wonder why our retro collections aren't selling. To emphasize how different uh, these retro collections are on Switch, do not buy title milestones on Switch because it's just 10 collected arcade archives releases with all the content stripped out. Oh, that sucks! So you just get the basic US versions of each game with no high scores, no caravan mode, no uh, optional modes. And it's a problem for the games where the Japanese versions are way better than the US versions because you only get to play the shitty US version. Whereas if you buy the individual releases for eight bucks each, you get all the features. That... That is garbage. Sucks. Where'd that ball go? Don't worry about it, it's just floating over there. Kill them. Destroy them. Ruin their lives. I just realized the song that's playing. Mm -hmm. It's a riff on, um... Hard Day's Night. Kind of, yeah, okay. When it gets to the chorus, it really starts sounding like it. I really like Super Dodgeball. We got him. Nice. We took down James, Scott, and Howie. England is gone. They're in Dodgeball Heaven now. Mm -hmm. Anyway, you go around the world, you beat up everybody. This time you use a dodgeball. That's called innovation, baby. Let's go to our next game. So up 
next after that, they released a little game called Downtown Neketsu Story. This one may look a little familiar. You want to play this one? Yes. Let's go easy. Easy and slow. So, is this a uh, translation? Oh, I guess it is different. Yep, it is a translation of the Japanese version of River, River City Ransom, which has an entirely different story. A blazing battle begins. So Ricky wants to save the girl, but Kunio just wants an old friend, huh? Yeah. Okay. That's, that's what Kunio's like. I like that they redrew entirely new title screens for these games, too. Mm -hmm. Can you play? You may have to hit your home button. I see some movement. Okay, let's okay. go back to the main menu. It's I have to hold it like this. Oh, yeah, we can fix that. Okay, what do I do? Just, uh... I guess we'll show this. This is a Switch problem. This is not this collection's problem. Do I do this? Not yet. Okay. Okay, now you do it. There. Okay. <laughs> now do it again. Because the game demands it. Alright, maybe the original NES version is better. Fuck this, don't buy this. Just, just get the original cartridges or emulate. This whole stream is a sham. Alright, okay, you need to unpause. There we go. And beat up these guys. Well, I let the cat out. See you, girl. I'm just trying to get out of here. <laughs> what are you doing? You're messing with the game. You're trying to mess with the game's code. Exit. I'm literally trying to exit this screen. trying to pull some bullshit task moves. All right, now can we play? There we go. Now this should be really good with the upgrades because this game was infamous for its many slowdowns. Now you've done it. Do you think they say barf in this one? They fucking better. Come back here, you gotta barf. Barf. Barf, man! Come they ran off! Get back here and take your beating. Okay, so what are our innovations here? We've started Weapons. with we've started with arena-based brawling. We've advanced to uh, side scrolling. Being the man with another man. Side scrolling format, and this they added a whole bunch of fucking things. Cause like, <laughs> consider the upgrade from Renegade to Double Dragon is just oh you're walking to the right now, and there's a little barf. bit there's we a few barf, more different folks. dudes. We got barf. This one though. They added in shit like running, running jumps, running jump kicks, a two-player cooperative mode on NES. Guy with glasses. RPG mechanics. Picking up uh, coins that dudes drop when they die. Booyah! H. One of them said booyah, H. I think that was an error, or do you think that was in the original? I think that's in the original. Booyah, H. Why does it say booyah, H? <laughs> I, I think there may have been an error of some sort. Back here. What? 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 Okay, I like that one. That's a good change. You made me drop my trash can. <laughs> How dare you? Booyah H, everybody. That sign back there said, uh, Gomi no Hi, which means garbage day. Oh, it's a garbage day? Mm-hmm. It's time to take out the trash. But first, consider ordering a delicious sandwich. Can I get a cream stuff? 
Uh, sure, you go ahead. I'm not hungry. Can I have a cream stuff? Order a cream stuff. What's... B button is your, uh... It's actually A button for me. Is it? Yeah! I, I fixed that! Goddamn Nintendo Switch. So by buying delicious food, you can upgrade your stats. That's just one of a billion different things they added to this game compared to the previous beat-em-ups we played. I also just really like going to all the shops and seeing what they have. Croissant. I want a bean roll. Oh, and some places let you take it to go. That's convenience. I want a croissant. For later. Croissant. Croissant. What's in here? I like that they let me bring in my, uh... I like that I get quality, quality sush. Quality sush is what I'm saying. Oh, man. That fat tuna is expensive. Mm -hmm. I like that at real places, too. Many different sushis. Many different upgrade paths. All these different items affect things like your feet and your fists and your agility and stuff. So it pays to go around and just eat everything. That's my approach to Austin cuisine. Mm -hmm. Just eat everything? I sit down and I'm just like, give me the whole menu. <laughs> and finally, let's stop off at the comic store. Mook punch. Mock kick. Screw attack. I've heard of them. <laughs> These are all the good books. This stuff makes you super powerful. Unfortunately, we don't have enough for any of these. Yeah, we're poor. You either want a mock punch or a mock kick, and that will get you through pretty much the entire game. Students from Sakajuku. Owie! Oof, ouch, owie, these guys say. Oh, sorry, I kicked you it's in the okay. back of the head. I can hit these guys, so it's okay. Also hit you in the back of the head. Mama, huh? God, I love the dramatic things that unfold in two-player mode. Like you stun a guy with a chain and then I mm -hmm. jump and kick him in the back of the head. What I'm trying to say is this game was like I love this game. A huge innovator back when it came out. Like it's fun. People consider it one of the best NES games, but especially at the moment it came out, it was huge. Just compare it to Double Dragon and Renegade, that's all you gotta see. It is kind of weird that they put them in a dodgeball game before making their uh, official debut in a brawler. By which I mean these uh, super deformed character designs. Yeah. Maybe they were just like, damn, these designs are so good we can't waste it. That could be. Why not make a brawler starring the little stubby dudes, they said. I think they could have uh, had more of an impact here in the States if they called them something like Little Brawler Dudes or something. Little Buddies. Yeah, Little Buddies. Thank you, Caleb C. 36 month re reset. That's three whole years. Thank you. Three years. Also, cannot wait to see you two play NES World Cup. Oh, is that on this? Oh, that's coming. Oh, boy. You'll see it. Thank you. Thank you. Let's go to the rice store. I want to order some rice. Cold rice! <laughs> I'm Don't! Gonna I'm gonna finish up by buying SP rice. That's some good ass rice. Okay, and then we're gonna eat it out on the street and then move on to our next game. I just I just want salmon, thank you. I don't want gold rice, I'm no fancy boy. Yeah, it's a little of salmon rice also. Mm. Give me a uh, ten pounds of your gold rice. It's like gold schlager. Yeah, just eat raw rice. All right, let's let's sit on the curb and just eat our delicious food. I'm gonna eat my SP rice. Eat the croissant. That was sure is Italy. Nice. What are you having? I'm having. Um, I will eat my SP rice. <laughs> what? <laughs> do I want to? Do I want to continue here? Is this yes. about to get graphic? You 
Kunio. I love you. You're a funny guy, Kunio. Kunio rules. God bless all the farmers who brought me this delicious rice. Amen. <laughs> so there's a lot of stuff in this game we missed out on in the localization process to uh, River City Ransom, including paying tribute to the world's farmers for delicious, delicious rice. What a cool game. Love this game. What's next? What is next? Well, it came time to bring these games over to the US. Starting with old Super Dodgeball. Alex, you ready to get pummeled? Yeah, I'm gonna die. Danny's <laughs> going to kick my ass like five ways till Sunday. Hi! Hi! SSR team is just a Bobos. That kind of rule. <laughs> <laughs> All right, the Bobos versus All Stars. We're out here on the pitch playing dodgeball. Weird. Ooh, good dodge. That's the same thing. Gimme, gimme! Thank you. No! Gimme, gimme, gimme a ball after midnight. I'm <laughs> sorry! I'm sorry! I got Evan on the brain! That's your problem. Well, yeah. Ain't you're nobody right. can play dodgeball while thinking about Abba. It's never happened. I got you. I got one of you. Does oh, that yeah? count? Hey! You made me fly in the air. Bullshit. Stop looking see, at me, guy! Do you see my life meters? I think USSR is the super team, even though you are the purported all-stars. Ooh, good dodge. That's why they call it dodgeball. Man, I cannot hit worth shit. The secret to dodgeball is dodging. Yeah, who knew? You walked over the middle! That should be illegal! Yeah, you should be illegal! Hey! Don't say that! Hey! Don't bonk me! I'm, I'm good boy. Hey! That's just... That's yeah, not one of the teammates! You. That's just a guy on the side, an innocent bystander. No one's innocent in the game of dodgeball. That's true. Alright, a Bobo's going in. Wow! Holy fuck! You, you bounced me off the wall! You killed me! See my little ghost? I'm a dead man! <laughs> Look at your health! This is so bullshit! I did a triple dodge there. I want to point out, we're still in the 80s as far as the chronology goes. These games with really... Vicious play styles, and then try something different like dodgeball. Technos was doing that shit early, and they were doing it often. In that way, it's kind of strange that they didn't become a bigger, a bigger player in the industry. Someone like Capcom or Konami, like they had the quality, they had the graphics, they had the sound, they had pretty much everything. They just did not have the same staying power somehow. guy left. Jack! Make it happen, Jack. Captain of the all-star team. Head to the dodgeball tournament so you can play volleyball with your friends while we watch. Is this your plan? Play keep away? Real mature. Way to make us look bad in front of the Russians. <laughs> Oh, God! I bounced off the wall! Why would you do that to me? And then I hit you in the back of the head. Duh! <laughs> Look at a Bobo. He's popping off. Uh. 
Oh, he's going crazy. Amazing game. Thank you, oh, Alex. That was good. Alex has volunteered to get his ass beat many times tonight. You gotta, you gotta volunteer for something. So next up, what did we have? Not a Kunio Kun game, but another Double Dragon game. At this point, the series are distinct. They are heading off in two different directions. And this one was released here in the U.S. by Acclaim. Which was weird, because usually when you see Acclaim on the box, it's a big piece of shit. But mm -hmm. not in this case. This is a good one. Ugh. I can't believe this game came out when it did on the NES. This is just literally like one year after Double Dragon 1. Let's play this one. I hate when violence... Wait, there's a nuclear war? Yeah, did you miss it? I, I guess so. Damn, I, I guess I have been spending too much time in VR chat. This really highlights the differences between the series, because Kunio Kun is just going around eating expensive sushi and hugging rice. <laughs> Meanwhile, there's a nuclear war going on in the, the Double Dragon world. Yeah, Double Dragons is too... too violent. It makes sense being inspired by the same series of movies back then. Things oh like god, a... my girlfriend is dead! Yeah. Yeah, they in the arcade version, they just straight up shoot her at the beginning. Holy shit, they killed my girl! Hi, what'd she do? Into the turf. No, I'm in mourning! I can't fight! No, into the turf. No! And no. this one, you have a, le a left attack and a right attack. And uh, depending on which way you're facing, you'll get either a punch or a kick. The first thing you'll notice is this plays way the fuck better than NES Double Dragon. Also, it's two-player. There's plenty of action on the screen at all times. Uh, there's also a lot of flicker and slowdown, but you won't see that in the collection version. There's also new moves you can do, like after you land from a jump, you can do an uppercut. That's super powerful. And it makes a cool noise when you do it. Also, one of those NES games that put in the extra effort to be different and have a whole bunch of content that was, was not in the arcade version. The arcade Double Dragon 2, I don't know if anyone's ever noticed it, but it is literally a reskin of Double Dragon 1. Like, they just took the map layouts of the first game and then pasted in new content. Danny, this is really fun. It's good. This is great. I this like NES one, they just built this from the ground up to be super good. Which I think is a good move, to build a game from the ground up to be super good instead yeah, of bad. Yeah, making a game good is usually the key, but... Jump on it. We're ladder buddies. Oh, there's some dudes we gotta beat up. Dudes! Dudes! Is there some guy being like, hey, don't climb up the building! You gotta beat me up first. Wake up attacks now, too. This game has everything. This game was so ahead of its time, in fact, that when they eventually made Double Dragon 4 for the PS4 and Nintendo Switch, it was literally just using this game's same basic engine and stuff. Same That's characters, amazing. same sprites. Just they realized what worked, and what worked was Double Dragon 2 and nothing else. Oh, I miss being able to run. Yeah, I don't like how pokey I am. Double Dragons are, are pokier but stronger than the Kunio Kuns. Yeah, they could really kick the Kunio Kuns' ass, I hate to say it. They should have teamed up. Instead, the Double Dragons just teamed up with the damn Battletoads. Who yeah, why did they do that? Are they like, oh, I don't want to fight a bunch of kids or some, like, coward shit? Contractual obligation. Mm, I'd do it. Like, you would not expect a beat-em-up this good to be on the NES, especially with two-player, and running as consistently well as it does. No other company was doing it like this at the time. Here we have the first boss taken directly from the Road Warrior. Occasionally they just do that, they'd be like, hey, we saw this movie, let's make a game like it. Some Streets of Fire? Oh man, that shit's awesome, let's they just do that. Streets of Fire is... Like... Streets of Fire inspired, like, 200 different video games. The Velvet Underground of freaking, uh, 80s action movies. Mm -hmm. It's like, if you saw that movie and you lived in Japan, you made a brawler. Go for broke. You see that graffiti there? I... 
It spelled like. Spelled bad! It spelled like a frog croak. <laughs> Go for croak. Also, unfortunately, there's a new focus on platforming. Don't like it, because it's too hard to jump. That's, yeah, that's kind of a problem. To jump in these games, you need to hit both buttons at once. Yeah, that's not so, so much a problem now, but when there's actual platforming involved, it does become a problem. Anyone who's played this game as a kid remembers the gear room. And if you forgot it, I'm sorry to bring up that memory again. Oh, climb back down. There's a helicopter up there. Alex trying to go home. Yeah, I'm like, I'm out of here again. I'm in mourning over my girlfriend. Damn, we make a good team. We do. Stand a chance. No, no. Bimmy and Jimmy. The Bimmiest of duos. <laughs> I'm just saying, what other NES developer at the time made not one, but two landmark beat em ups that played completely differently and had totally different focuses? Technos was just on fire for a couple years. Like, what happened? Well, the Super Nintendo happened. Probably stories to be told about companies that had it, had it huge in the 8-bit era and then just could not replicate that in the 16-bit era. I'm thinking like Technos, I'm thinking like Sunsoft especially. Why can't people just make good games forever? This the boss. I don't like this boss. These guys suck. Ooh, you have to jump. Fuck making me jump. Stop that! Remember, you have to use the, um, the spin kick on these guys. Let's give these guys their own series. Who are they? I hate these the bastards of gaming! <laughs> it's the bastards of gaming. I always called them the Fucko Brothers. Are the Fucko Brothers? Got one of them. Now the most important part of the run, we gotta grasp. Are you ready to grasp? I do. Did we get it? We got it. We got we grasp. Grasp. <laughs> I always remember this cutscene for some reason. Grasp. And we all died. <laughs> what the happened? Wind. We all got sucked out of the window of the, the helicopter. That's it. I, yeah, well, the, we're the, dead. The entire damn crew got sucked out the helicopter. <laughs> that sucks. Double Dragon 2, highly recommended. I didn't know that could happen. And wouldn't you know it, right after Double Dragon 2 came out, we had River City Ransom. Let's check this out. Okay. You can sit this one out if you want. Okay. So instead of the school uniforms, we got t-shirts and jeans. Hey, you gotta wear what you gotta wear. Yeah, you gotta wear whatever you're, you're most comfortable in. Alex, show the people the, the the wallpaper for this one. Okay, hold on, folks. Give me a sec so I can show this to <laughs> Hold on! Look at them! It's no, it's no fine art, but <laughs> NES box art does have its charm. I'm just saying, maybe it, it doesn't serve its purpose best here. This guy's being... I don't want to change it back! I'm sorry, this is all you're going to see now. These guys being mildly judgmental of my gameplay. Devil Ray, it does look like Sweet Valley High. Holy <laughs> yeah. shit. Holy shit. A young, a young adult novel cover. Yeah, this is all very much like young adult novels in the 90s. I also like this game because you can just run on through to the end if you want. You'll get your ass handed to you, of course, but... Oh yeah, and they changed the name of uh, Kunio to Alex. Hey, I know that guy. That's some Alex representation. Finally. I heard she's in the far right room. 
It's funny how you could beat this game without rescuing your girlfriend. I didn't even know that was possible until, like, extremely recently. You I just, didn't know that either, that's funny. There's just some room in the school she's held up in, and you can just ignore it. Nah, she's good. Hey guys! Bye guys! 100 bits from Cartman, thank you! Thank you. Yeah, they, they, I, I was getting Hardy Boy vibes from that, too. Alex has lost all of his power. You feel foreboding when games say stuff like that. Sometimes! I do! I do! I get like a cold... Anytime you play a video game and something bad happens to an Alex, I get like a cold chill down my spine. Mm -hmm. I'm having... I'm... Stop naming your characters Alex. I'm sick of cold chills. <laughs> I guess this is a speed run. Yeah, what you... You're just running through. This is great. Yeah, I'm just basically showing what the game was like in the US. Yeah, it had its origins as part of the Kunio Kun series. And then they brought it out over here and it was a huge success too. And whereas Kunio got a whole shit ton of games after this, not so much here in the States. I think it's because Technos' stuff was split between a bunch of publishers. They had Nintendo publishing some of these games. Mostly they did it through their uh, partner company, Trade West. Occasionally for games like this, they would self publish, I think. So they were doing a whole bunch of different things. Did you know about this? I didn't. It's Merlin's Mystery Shop. Oh, I love that movie! <laughs> that is what it is. Believe in magic, Alex. Or I'll kill you. Where did we get the, uh, that monkey with the symbols? Oh, man. That thing would kill all the enemies instantly. Hey! This is the mob's turf. You guys don't look like the Sopranos. They do look... Well, maybe they, they do a they little do bit. They do look a little... That, that, that guy looks a little bit, like, Soprano-esque. So that's how they brought, uh... <laughs> Niketsu Downtown Story here to the U.S. as River City Ransom. Mm -hmm. Huge success. Critics loved it. Players loved it. People wonder what happened to, to Alex and, uh... What was the other guy's name? Ryan? Ryan. Turns out they would come back in several forms, but maybe not what you would expect. Let's play the next game. is Niketsu High School Dodgeball Club Soccer Story. Okay, so now the Dodgeball <laughs> Club is doing soccer. Yeah, it's, not, it's not the soccer club. It's the Dodgeball Club. They just decided to play soccer. Fair enough. This is one of the few games in the collection where they do not include the U.S. version because the U.S. one was done by Nintendo of America. They chopped out all the story content and just released it as Nintendo World Cup. They're just playing dodgeball! Yeah. Now you get to see the story behind Nintendo World Cup. They never, no. they never wanted to play soccer at all. What's going on? Famitsu says yeah. we should be in a soccer game to maximize our exposure. Oh no! The soccer team's shitting and puking! <laughs> They're farting and shitting all over the place. Should have never gone out for milkshakes after the game. <laughs> it is a pain in the butt. It is. Having to convert from dodgeball to soccer. Look at this. You never saw this in the U.S. Us playing soccer. No field day. Oh, we have to do this before field day. Mm -hmm. I gotta run to the end of the track and eat the, the bread off a stick. Why don't we do that in America? Our field days suck ass. We never eat bread on a string. Nobody's having it. Nobody wants this to happen. Oh? Oh. Really, the story? Is that really the story? I never do. Ah. Gotta, gotta say, I prefer that storyline to the whole dead girlfriend thing. That's more creative, and it's a better incentive. I'll go ahead and play this one single player. We got more soccer games coming up. Okay, good. As long as I get a play. Mm -hmm. 
here they have local teams instead of the US one where it was all like a bunch of teams. I think the worst team in there was Cambodia or something. Okay. Look at that guy's ears. Alright, how do you play this game? I already forgot. Yeah, you can pass. You can shoot. You can pause the game accidentally. I'm really good at that. That's yeah, one of my best too. skills. If I remember right, the strategy in this game is to just punch and check and knock down the opponents so much that they eventually don't get back up. You can actually kill the other teammates. <laughs> and they don't they don't get up, they don't contest it after a while. It was a real rough and tumble soccer game. Shoot! No. Shoot! No. Shoot! No. Why does he keep saying no? Pass, okay. This team sucks. They don't listen to what I say. They're kind of dickheads. What, what's up with them? Come here, you. Come here, you. Nice. Nice. No! Oh. Is our... I guess we, uh, we do exist at Neketsu High. That is just hot-blooded high. Ketsu High was originally, uh, was later released in the U.S. as High School High. Damn me! I was thinking about that movie the other day, I don't know why. Oh man, oh man, I wonder if that, that seems like a movie that would be on Tubi. I just, it, I don't know if it is or not, but it just gives that vibe, you know? Anybody remember High School High? I remember the, the trend of urban school movies. Yes, in the, in the mid-90s! Dangerous Minds yep. and, mm -hmm. yeah. Okay, okay. The opportunity to ask you about this, but Danny, yeah. have you ever heard of celebrity? It's called like something like Celebrity Paranormal Investigation, and it's on Tubi. I have not heard of that. And it's a 2006 era reality show by VH1, where Gary, Who did that? Where celebrities go do haunted house investigations. Yeah. But Gary Busey, it's got Gary Busey and Hal Sparks, and and. They're all taking it incredibly seriously, and they are scared out of their minds by ghosts, and they're screaming, and <laughs> I did good. not make it up. It's on Tubi. It's real. It had one season in 2006. You can... Yes, thank you. Thank you. Absolutely. I like it's these all... animations. Look at this. It, it's so good. Man, we're pissed. I highly recommend Par uh, Celebrity Paranormal Investigation. I watched the first episode. The first episode, Gary Busey is constantly talking about using, like, the power of Christ to prevent ghosts. And <laughs> That's how you prevent ghosts. And then Gary Busey talks a lot about his out-of-body experiences and his experiences with ghosts. And then Hal Sparks is like, well, I had an out-of-body experience. I was in a coma when I was five and I almost died. And it's just like, Jesus! So I really recommend the show. That sounds pretty good to me. It's, it's one of the funniest things I've ever seen. <laughs> I'm glad TV's getting deranged again. I, I, it, it, well, it's, it's getting not. Back to, it's getting back to the levels where, uh, yes, where we were when uh, reality TV took over. Yeah, this seems like, if the, the show is like, again, it's 2006, and it feels like a 30 Rock bit. It's really funny. I highly recommend it. So once again, that's Celebrity Paranormal Investigation. One of the stupidest shows I've ever seen. I don't know why one of our guys is an elf. I was looking at those, I talked with those ears earlier. They're freaking me out. Oh yeah, he does have elf ears. That's Yoda Stan. Oh, that is Yoda Stan. Get the ball, get the ball. Oh man. This game, it plays a good game of soccer. It's team based. You got a whole bunch of different cooperation mechanics. Teamwork, some would call it. I call it cooperation mechanics. You can tell that all these games push the NES pretty hard, too, because very few of them reach 60 FPS. They're just like, fuck it, put a bunch of little stubby dudes on the screen at once. We care not for flicker and slowdown. Let God worry about it, is what they said. Give me, give me the ball. Give me the ball, I'll shoot it. I'll shoot it. I'll shoot that ball. Hell Sparks is in multi- There's a new show? from 2019 that Hal Sparks is in where he talks about ghosts. It's great. 
Great. I'm glad Hell Sparks is on the ghost circuit. From talk soup to ghost go booze. Sorry, that was fucking awful. Wow. No, that was really yeah. Oof. No, that's yeah. Hold on. I missed the ball. I'm really bad at this game. Yeah. Hold on. They all just heard that joke. It was really bad. I'm sorry. You think there's something paranormal that rhymes with soup within like a second? <laughs> <laughs> Why would Nintendo cut this out? I don't get it. I don't. I don't understand. Why would Nintendo cut this out of the game? <laughs> Video games rock. I don't know what, what Nintendo was crying about. Video games are really good. No. You jerks! Oh. The whole team, huh? Guess we'll never see that. That's a shame. Wouldn't you know it, there's another Kunio Kun game. Came out very soon after the soccer game. This is Downtown Neketsu, March Super Awesome Field Day. Okay. We did finish up the soccer thing in time for field day. Good news. Hey, right, no problem. I love him. Who is he? That's Toto. Okay, I like Toto. Nehehe. <laughs> They wasted no time in building up this series. Oh, there was like five games released in the space of a year. And they were all doing something different. Super awesome field day. Super awesome. That's a good title screen. I like this a lot. This is... is let's, is... Do, uh, let's do two player. Sure. Is there bread in this? I want to eat the bread. There's bread at the end. Okay, good. Bread is for closers. We got a whole bunch of different events here. Ball break. Want to change the BGM? Let's do it. All right, you are gonna be Hanazono. Okay. I'm uh, Ricky from Hanazono, and I'm Kunio from Neketsu. Okay. You're stronger than me. That's bullshit. Sorry. That's bullshit, it's just man. True. And this is a track and field game where everybody can beat up on each other the entire time. This one never got released in the U.S., and that is a shame because, man, this game kind of rules. They remade this for PS4 recently. Kind of a strange choice to remake it, but they did. Look at this. <laughs> Isn't this great? It rules. Just an improvised obstacle course. I think we gotta climb up here. And it supports up to four players. Hey! My head! It's so creative. We're running across the rooftops, we're running through buildings. Uh, hold on for me! Wait up! You dicks! Oh shit. It's fine, I'm coming. took a shortcut. Uh, I did not. That's fine. I was moving really fast for a minute. I'm just climbing buildings now. Hey! Hey! Get... Alright. Fine. I'm trying to jump! We'll settle this right here. Missed out on this. Why are those guys so much faster than us? Cause life's not fair. Thanks for carrying me. You're welcome. It's garbage day again. Oh, I can't pick up the garbage cans. Kunio Oob. Ricky Oob. Oob. Man, these boys are athletic. And they're going into the sewer. I'm 
so glad all these games are finally in a collection. They've been released piecemeal over the years. There was, uh, I think four different GBA collections consisting of the, the different Kunio Kun games. But here you can just get them all in one package. And they're improved even. Whoa! I don't know what I did there. Yeah, ride, ride your own tire. All our friends are here. Yeah, 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 yeah! Second place. I'm fine! You made it! You, you're alive! I, 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 I at least didn't die. Yeah, this song is, is from Yoshi's Cookie as well. Can't tell you what it is. Mm -hmm. It's a classic song. One of them classical musics. Is this high schools versus high schools? Because that's not fair. I think that's what it is, yeah. Bullshit. It's time to get serious. I like that it says cheerleader up there in the top left. She's crying for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that's the MC. Mmm, third place. What's the next level look like? Man, there was so many bullshit NES games released over here. We didn't get this. We got like infinite LJN games. That's how it worked. Oh, thank you for the. Thank you for the. Oh. Fuck. Shit! I put the start button on, on a, a shoulder button, that's why I'm doing that. Oh, oh, no! This is tough. It is. Oh, oh. One of us will make it. Not me. Okay, we got this. We got this! Block this. Funny. Block this. Hey! hey. <laughs> oh man, this this part's uh, explicitly a reference to Double Dragon 2. There was shit in that game that pushed you around. <laughs> this is cool. I climbed up the wrong way. Don't get pushed. Shit. Don't be like me. All right, our next game. Yeah, I was gonna say, this sucks, can we move on? <laughs> really cool game to play with four people, though. Double Dragon is not dead, believe it or not. Even though we've seen something like five or six Kunio Kun games in the last uh, year or whatever it's been, there is a Double Dragon, there's a Double Dragon 3. Is it good? Uh... It's got Bimmy, it's got the Sacred Stones. I like Sacred Stones. Well, why don't, why don't we play it and find out for ourselves? <laughs> Bisexual pride flag. <laughs> it is. Yeah. Same colors. Double dragon, bisexual dragon. Think about it. Hmm. A year has passed since Bimmy and Jimmy defeated the Shadow Warriors. Looking muscly. Pretty good, Bimmy. Yeah, this game contains the legend of Bimmy. It only shows up if you start a two-player game. Otherwise, he's uh, known as Billy for some reason. I really, th I have to say it. I really thought he was called Bimmy in all the games. I didn't realize it was Billy. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, here we are with Double Dragon 3. It looks a lot like Double Dragon 2. He doesn't do the directional punchy thing! Yeah, it doesn't okay, do this that. Game sucks now. And all the moves have a lot of wind-up. Notice how many animation frames we have. Yes, it's too nice. Talk to our friend Brett, who is holding out a fist. Give me one last fist bump, please. The game plays kind of awkwardly. It doesn't control all that great. It's still kind of fun, and there's some stupid bullshit you can do that's pretty good. Like, you can flip over dudes' heads and throw them. Let's try that. But the main problem this game has... Whoa, that was cool! The main problem this game has is that you only get one life, and no continues. What?! This game failed! <laughs> Sorry. You do eventually get more characters who serve as extra lives, but otherwise, that's this game's big downfall. Hugely difficult game. Made even more difficult 
by the fact that you only have one life to do it. Die. So, you gotta love this one. If you want to know what happened between Double Dragon 2 and 3, well, there's a whole story about that. Uh, in arcades, Double Dragon 3 was subcontracted out to a very... A, a developer with a very poor track record. Technos did this so they could concentrate on their other series, and what the, what ended up happening is uh, Double Dragon 3 killed the series in arcades. It was so bad, no one wanted to play it after that. This NES one took the same premise and cleaned it up a little bit, but it's still not very good compared to the second game. And that's why there were no more Double Dragons on NES. It was an unfortunate uh, thing to happen. And yeah, that's our game over. <laughs> we gotta start from the very beginning. If we were on level 2 or 3 or whatever, we'd have to do the same thing. No! Yeah. No. No! That. I'm gonna say no. Thank you! Fuck that. Fuck that. Now let's go back to Kunio. <laughs> you can see why Technos switched over to Kunio. They were just like, yeah. uh, we can see what happened with Double Dragon. It didn't turn out too good. Let's just, uh, let's go with what works. And what worked? River City Ransom worked. It could also work in the context of Ancient Japan, which is this game. It's cool to see this game in English. Uh, yeah, it is. This was one of the first games I remember to get a fan translation, or at least one of the first that I ever played. Shami <laughs> send noises. <laughs> <laughs> Klong. It's cool. You gotta love Fuji-san. Mm-hmm. <laughs> Same. This guy's really talking himself up. I can only assume these are references to other period dramas that were on in Japan at the mm -hmm. time, because this game satirizes a bunch of them. We're way back in ancient Japan. Old Ricky and Kunio. Kunimasa now. So we've been street brawlers. We've been dodgeballers. We went off to do soccer that one time. And uh, now we're putting on a play about what uh, River City Ransom would have been like way back when. There's a story or something. Do we want the girl? I'm assuming that's the case. We need the girl to encourage the soccer club. By censoring out Kiss, it made that seem a lot worse. <laughs> <laughs> it left it up to the imagination. Another thing I should mention, this uh, this translated text, it's done via Lua scripting. They didn't actually hack the ROMs. What the game is doing is it's translating in real time and just displaying the translated text as it appears. That does a couple of things. One, it's pretty convenient to the developers to do that. For another, it results in there not being translated ROMs you can just download and put on your uh, flash card because this is all stored within the game. It does not translate to a translated ROM. Oh, wow. Nintendo did something similar when they uh, when they brought over the Fire, Fire Emblem NES game. Let's do co-op. Okay. I don't think I've ever played this with two-player. Yoi! Here we are. There's a couple of dudes up to no good. Of course, there's still a bunch of stores where you can get food and things. Rice, a mere 8 yen! Oh! That's so cheap! 3 yen for a pickle! I'm gonna get a pickle. Kunio ate the pickle. Alright, what are you getting? Um... I've heard a lot about the rice. Rice is pretty good! I'm gonna try this rice. Let's splurge. We got a whole journey ahead of us. Nothing. It just maxed out my stamina, which I didn't need. Don't eat rice and soup first, folks. You need it before a big brawling journey, though. That's true. I need the carbs. Carbo loading. I think there's a map 
Let me, um, let me look for that. Plan? Oh, yeah, usually the second player is an AI-controlled uh, partner, ah. and this is where you tell him what to do. Eh, we'll figure it out as we go. Okay. We'll find some dudes who need beaten up. We're here. Dudes go. Where's all the dudes? Dudes! Hey, dudes! Kunio and Suduru, the quest for dudes. Yeah! What the hell? Where's our dudes? We were promised some dudes. Any dudes in Echu? No, just beautiful scenery. Ugh. Gorgeous. <laughs> I think you can make that jump. Or maybe not. I love how high you jump in these games. Not a drop of water in sight, and not a man in sight either. Yeah, where'd the dudes go? Did we play the dudeless edition? Yeah, this is weird, right? Like, this is just a nice solitary journey. We don't have to beat anyone up. There we go. Ah, finally. Finally. Okay, now we know how to play. Hey, stop it! Stop it! Stop it! So in this game, you get to see the damage you're performing to your opponents. There's a lot more of an RPG focused. Hey, nice juggle. Oh yeah, get fucked. That was cool. I just like that they took such a simple premise and then expanded on it in so many different directions. From sports to Back here. different Back time here. periods. Oh, 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 yeah. Try it, 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 try it. Yeah, fucking try it! I'll beat your ass in the past! Go, go, go. I'm cheering you on. Uh, can you get in my cart? Is that a thing you can do? Oh, beat up that dude first. No? Yeah, he left. He went and hid. <laughs> All with it all. It is. Whoa, 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 pool. Okay, Ooh, right you can the access steps. the map by pressing uh, B when the uh, when your pause. Oh, mm, okay. okay. What am I? What You're am dragging I? Dragging me. <laughs> There's a dragon mechanic in this. This game's got everything. Yeah, usually you need to look at the map in order to figure out where to go, where the dudes are. Okay, now get on. Get on. Let's let's just leave. That's so good. Oh, oh no! They're beating that my ass up. They're beating the living shit out of you. Yeah, basically, what I'm trying to say is, if you've played River City Ransom and you love it, you need to play this game. It's maybe not quite as good in the end, but it does so much different, and it does so much cool shit, like being able to toss dudes like this. I think if you enjoyed River City Ransom, you'll get a kick out of this. A kick, get it? Ah, I get it. I just want to take my friend on a nice ride in my cart. All right, hop on. Okay. We're leaving this town. People here don't appreciate us. My cart. Let me get on the cart. Okay, fine. Bye. <laughs> Good enough. There's a lot of emergent fun that happens in these games, usually there by is, accident. There is, there is. 
Man, maybe we should do a full playthrough of this. I really I like this game. I've never seen past the first ten minutes or so. I think we gotta. Let's let's go eat some food and finish okay, up. On. Let me get, let Udon, huh? Give me this newfound uh, food that you know as potato. And you ate the potato. And some soba, I guess. And some udon. Dang, you're going crazy. And another potato. So you ate two potatoes, udon, and soba. Yeah, I'm a growing boy. I just, I just want potato. Thank you, Sepsai 100 bits. Welcome. Thank you, Sepsai. We're in ancient Japan, beating up people, as we do. Just gonna slurp up all the soba. Yeah. What a life. Just going down the street, beating up people, taking their money. This game rocks. Buying soba with your ill-gotten gains. <laughs> that is the life for me. Bunzo? Change? Oh, you get a new partner. Interesting. There's a whole lot to this game. Yeah. Well, this is Bunzo, but I'm Dunzo with this game. Alright, what's next? We're approaching the end of the, the Kunio timeline on NES, but we still got, like, several games remaining. Let's play, uh, Go Go Neketsu Hockey Club Slip and Slide Madness. This school club, man. Yeah, I deserve to be banned for that, thank you. We just want to play dodgeball. so bad they just closed him down. That would be really demotivating. <laughs> it would be really funny. I'm so sorry. Go, go, Neketsu Haki. Slip and slide madness. Club. That's a title. That's cool. This game, this release here represents the first time this has officially been seen in English. There is a prototype of the original NES version. They were going to bring it out as a uh, Crash in the Boys Ice Challenge. Mm. That never came out. Finally, the injustice has been uh, righted, and we can play it. Two-piece story. Got it. Yeah, let's do it. So this is like the soccer game, only it's on ice, and you have a stick now. Any questions? Oh, really? Yeah. Where the man? Man, I thought we were cooperating. Or maybe I am. Maybe I'm you're out there somewhere. It. Go, go, go! Oh, it almost made it in. Okay, no, I'm here. You are? I think so. Maybe that's just me. Hard to tell. How dare you? Oh wait, are you the are you the goalie? Am I? You might uh -oh. be the goalie. <laughs> now that oh, I, think I about hope it. not. Oh, we're fucked. <laughs> You'll learn. Oh god. There's one problem with this game. I know this from having played it years and years ago, the fan translation. <laughs> this game is very easy. To the point where you can just eventually get to the, the point where you get a hundred points in one game and the other team doesn't score at all. I am the goalie. You are the goalie. Wow, I'm a bad goalie. <laughs> like, I'm just really a bad goalie. <laughs> I think maybe I'm the person they should get rid of and the team would improve. Hey, nice. you made it. Remember right, there is a spot on the rink where you can just shoot every time, and it'll go in. 
Maybe they fixed that for the upgraded version. The other thing I'm noticing is, man, way less slowdown and flicker. It's really nice for these games with so many animated sprites on the screen at once. And like I said, Technos was pushing the NES pretty hard to begin with. Here we go. Here we go. I'm good. All right, you got this? <laughs> what do you expect? Ah! Alex is a dodgeball player, not yeah, a goalie. Yeah, I'm, I'm not a goalie. <laughs> okay. Thank you for saving me from further embarrassment. Nice. That was fucking nice. Quit fucking up. Come on. <laughs> Yeah, Alex, quit pucking around. I'm sorry, that was just a variation of that joke. It's fine. I'll, I'll listen. I'll, I'll get it this time. If it happens again, I'll do it. Yeah? Okay, here's your chance. Come on, you're supposed to say it, so I didn't have to do it. No, go ahead. Get the puck. Um, <laughs> that was interesting. Yeah, I think it was brain freeze. Are they okay? Oh! Nice. This game's sick. I love this game. I like it better than either of the soccer games, I think. Yeah, this is fun. I actually really like being goalie as bad as I am at it. Oh, 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 oh. We're doing this. Thank you, Hexagon Witch. Three year resub. Whoa, three whole years, Retro Pals, and a false my birthday. Well, happy birthday! Happy birthday, Thanks Hexagon Witch! Welcome, thank you. And thank you for the sub. Yeah. Okay. Okay, Alex. Alright, here we go, it. Alex. This is your, your big chance. Oh. Did it go between your legs? How did it go in? Alright, Alex, catch this one. Oh, it aimed the other way. I'm gonna have to run it in the, the old fashioned way. <laughs> I didn't see that one coming, did you? No! <laughs> We're teaching Alex how to be a better goalie. Hey! 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 hey look at that! Boop. Neat! Fun game, it's very goofy and very fun to play. I love Naketsu slip and slide hockey, and so should you. I, I do love it. They weren't done yet, though. More Famicom games were to come, including this one. Surprise! Naketsu New Records, the distant gold medal. I love games that start with the word surprise. I am surprised! This one we did eventually get in the US, and we'll play that next. But here's the original Japanese one. Smash all the other schools once and for all. I think at the Olympics, they should do the thing where you can eat the bread. I think so too. See? That's I such a good motivator. We need to revitalize the Olympics. They need to hunt for ghosts with celebrities and they need to eat bread. There should be a ghost hunting event in uh, the Olympics. Mm -hmm. House Spark should be there. Yeah. Hal Sparks is Kunio. Surprise! Surprise! Let us compete for the distant gold medal. So, Toto is rich? I hate him. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna get him. Yeah. He's so rich, he's got flunkies. <laughs> he's got oil profits. I hate him! Kill him! Sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry, in Minecraft! Yeah, no. I just, I just, he's an oil executive? <laughs> I love this. Yay! Oh, he did a PN. <laughs> he is miserably crying. I love this. 
These games have so much personality. Look at their faces. <laughs> He's sobbing his heart out. He's eating glue, isn't he? That is glue. He's hitting the sauce. <laughs> Going back to his old Elmer chugging ways. This rules. Yeah. We're not even in the game. We've got elaborate backstories now. Feast your eyes on my Colosseum. So we're just running around in an old construction site? Mm-hmm. Okay. We got a pool. We got everything. Nice. Wow. Daniel's really in for it now. Get ramen. I mean, ramen does sound good. Oh, he's crying. Oh, that's so sad. Oh, I was hoping we would just run around in a construction site. That would have been Bullshit. cool, too. Okay, here we go. Let's play, um, short 2P. <laughs> Why is wacky spelled like this? Whack! Judo. I've seen I've seen wacky spelled with an H, but I've never seen it with the uh -huh. two Ks. Which of these do you want to do, Alex? Ooh, hurdles. Okay. And then we'll do swimming. And we'll do wacky judo. All your favorites are here. I'm gonna be uh, the Niketsu team. Cool. I'll be the All Stars. I see. Oh, she's adorable. She is. Zooming around town. They kept in the shopping from uh, River City Ransom. Only this time around you can buy drugs and poison for the other team. Weird drink. Yep. Let's buy that. The weird drink? <laughs> what does that do, come to think of it? Oh, okay. Maybe I shouldn't have done that. What's poison? without poison. I don't need to poison myself. You, you got this pin kick! Wait a minute, come back! Get back here! Alex! How are you doing this? Here we go. Finally came out ahead. Hey! You tearing up the damn hurdles and using them to hit me? I stopped moving. Okay, there we go. It's a game of momentum. It is. <laughs> Once you get the momentum, you can't stop. Yeah. even. We've come pretty far since Double Dragon, huh? Mm -hmm. We've learned to resolve our differences in different ways. Was that... Who won that? That was, who? A, who? That was a photo finish. I won. Oh, that was so close. That was really close. Alright, Nishi, you gotta face off against the computer for some oh, reason. sucks. Okay, let's go. Hey, dickhead, don't do that. 
I guess I'm glad they brought this out over here in the States. I really wish the hockey game had made it. I just... That would have been one of my favorite NES games if they had a U.S. version of Neketsu Hockey. As it is, I'm glad we got Crash and the Boys. They didn't have to bring it over, but they did. <laughs> you doing alright? fine! fine! <laughs> Normal, feeling okay. Yeah. Yeah, we should have more streams like this where you just play the games. Disqualified. disqualified. Wow. You ran out of health and you got disqualified. Alright, Danny. Don't die. Okay, I got this one. Okay. Remember, don't die. The number one rule of gaming. Mm hmm Do not die. Life too, if you think about it. Don't die. Play well. Um, this, is, this guy is kicking me every single time. Yeah, yeah, the computer is way too strong. <laughs> I wish that I had a single chance to kick this guy's ass. Good lord. It's, it's because the other is because like that guy's dad just bought drugs for everyone. That must be what it is. Freaking drug dad. Oh, here we go. No, no. Oh, I'm sorry. It was a tough battle. I'm not playing any more of this. We're gonna play Crash the Boy. Let's do that. Here's the official English release we got back in the day. Let's see if you can spot the differences. Crash Cooney? Yeah, it's Crash Cooney in the South Side, boys. <laughs> Maybe if they had, like, an established and consistent lore, like the Cooney Okun games do. Fuck the rich snobs. Maybe this. Todd Thornley. Maybe the series would have been more popular than it was. Todd Thornley the Third. I like this localization, but it doesn't really play up the relationship between this and River City Ransom, which it should. Eat shit, Thornley. Wonder if the bad guy is still an oil magnate in this game. I assume so, he's pretty rich. Crash the boy, street challenge. I keep thinking that says Hitlers. <laughs> yeah, me. The North Side Hitlers. What a disgrace my son is. His name is Todd now. Todd Thornley. Todd Thornley the Third is a good uh, rich guy name. Silence loser. <laughs> Todd, you must challenge them. Still eating glue. He's That's still my eating man. glue. <laughs> they forgot to censor the glue eating. That's that's very bad to show that in a game. Kids can replicate that. They can eat a lot of glue. An average kid can drink a gallon of glue in one day. Employees. That's a lot of glue! Look at this, they redrew this. Can we get ramen? I mean burgers? <laughs> Macho ego games. <laughs> Southside slot. I like that it's a slobs versus the snobs. Very classic that's, Americana. Yeah, that's literally what it is. Scared. What's with the Y in the Thornley Industries? It looks like it's about to fall off. I like it. Oh, shit. <laughs> yeah, I think that was intentional, actually, now that I look at it. <laughs> <laughs> you 
You don't really know why he cries in this one. You need the original version for context. Naturally, the South Side has accepted the challenge. The stage is set. Short game. 2P. Let's do swimming. Swimming. Gotta go with Crash. You know I'm gonna go with the W's. Todd. Yeah, I'll be Todd. You're gonna be Todd? Yeah, I'm gonna be the snobs. Why you got a guy named Spoon on your team? Spoon's gonna kick your ass. Don't cry about Spoon. Alright. Cheese? I got a guy named Cheese? You cry about Spoon, Spoon will make you. You gonna kick my ass with Spoon? Alright. Get on the swing. Bullshit. Aww. Aww. Look at this one. They kind of obfuscate the poison in this one. Mm. It has negative effects. We're not going to say what it is. I wish I could give poison to my enemies. <laughs> Spoken like a true Thornley. <laughs> Have you ever played the swimming? In nope. This? I've done swimming in VR chat, but not this. Oh, it's basically the same thing. Okay. Ha-ha! <laughs> what? Hey! <laughs> hey! I'm trying to breathe! Yeah. <laughs> the object in this is to drown your opponent. Either by punching him underwater, or, uh, you know, just hopping on their Drown head. Spoonie. Not Drown Spoonie. Not Spoonie. Again. Ha <laughs> ha! Had enough of you! Get down in the freaking water. This is kind of brutal, isn't it? Also, Statue of Liberty back there? Is this New York? Are there New York canals? Them with your hands, Spoon Man. Stop it! I'm drowning. Stop it! <laughs> Spoon oh, you dead. You, you dead. Spoon is dead. Spoon died. <laughs> Spoon just died. All I have right, to Spoon. fight Skip. Good luck with Skip. I really like this subgenre of sporting game where it's just like regular sports only like insanely brutal. <laughs> Swimming where you have to drown your opponent. Eventually you go to a rooftop and do you know the um Get off! <laughs> <laughs> Goblin noises coming out of Alex. Stop it! Spoony! Spoon is not long for this world. Stop pulling me down, I'm good boy! <laughs> Poor Spoon. Spoon died! Spoon, Spoon is dead! Spoon, Spoon never stood a chance. A dead man. He has died. This minigame, I think, is ripe for a remake. You can make a whole game based off of this. I think competitive uh, swimming with brawling as a genre that's... that's it's gonna have its day. You'll see. You don't expect to get your head bashed in. Yeah, that is the one thing you don't expect. You expect normalcy at the pool. Maybe a little pee in the pool, but mostly normalcy. <laughs> it's mostly fucking normal. There's, there's gonna be some pee in there, though. It's just the way it goes. So what can we take away from this series that we've learned today? This started off pretty normal. It was basically the, the launch of the beat-em-up genre, and they were at the forefront. But instead of just running their series into the ground, which I guess they kind of did with Double Dragon, yeah. Kunio-kun, they just spread their wings and flew. 
Yeah, I like that the series goes to a lot of places. I like that it's not just all brawler. Like, brawling is a big part of these games, but mm -hmm. I like that there's other things you can do. Like, yeah, it incorporates the core of the series while also trying out new wacky things that end up being really fun and creative. It's a very specific time for the industry, a specific time for Technos. Some would say it's the best years of their lives. As I say, drowning at the bottom of Canal Street. You win this one, Clint. Well, you died. You really drowned. Very much recommend you check out Crash and the Boys Street Challenge. It's an underrated NES game for sure. Let's finish things up. We got a couple games left. This is the end of Kunio on NES. Starting off with Niketsu Fighting Legend. They're fighting? Really? School's in session. Fighting school. What's with the wallpaper? It's just blood. The folks at home can't see this, but the wallpaper used for the emulator oh, is just... Oh, it is just blood! Should I show them? <laughs> yeah, go ahead. Folks, it looks like this. It's just blood! It's a big bloody battle. The strongest man in all of Japan's high schools. You'd think the teachers would stop sanctioning this. So are they gonna stop them? True. Also free to decline. You got these big muscle heads running the school. <laughs> Strong men only. I have to fight a saber-toothed tiger? Wow, a martial arts tournament school. <laughs> Zoinks! Bring it on, you jerks! Some kind of romance blooming between. I've noticed that. Ricky I didn't want to say anything. He doesn't even want to talk to me. So we've gone from being bitter enemies to, to friends. That sounds like a trope to me. Frenemies. Me? Yeah, you. You are invited to this game, which has a title screen. There it is. Nice title screen. So what kind of game is this? Fighting. Okay. Let's do battle. Okay. We're just gonna fight it out. You can edit your characters if you really want to. Fight it out in the ring. Yeah, no spoon. Hmm. Yeah, where's Spoon? The character we all love. Shiba and uh, Abby. Let's do the stage. No rules. No rules. Just right. This is a four player fighting game. Arena styled, no holds barred. A lot of the same mechanics in River City Ransom and whatnot. But now it's explicitly a fighting game. There's all these different uh, <laughs> levels with gimmicks and stuff. There's spikes in some. In this one, there's electricity. No, no! No! The electricity is catching! getting electrified. Man, 
Man, if only Double Dragon went this path. Can you imagine Double Dragon dodgeball? There's drugs here. Are they dead? It's just us now. It's just us. It's a battle to the finish. The grudge match you all knew was coming. Throw me to the ropes! The ropes are electrified! This Good is so God. serious. It is serious. Come here, you. <laughs> I know what you're trying to do. I know what you're trying to do. You can't do it. Strategy. Let's see if it works. I'm trying to do a cross up. Cross up. <laughs> no! No! You. You I fuck. I died. You win. Oh my god, your mouth. <laughs> I win and I get a huge mouth. That was fun. <laughs> what a good game this is. Yet another game we missed out here in the States, unfortunately, but the wrongs of the past have now been righted. Of course, we also got Kunio Kun's Niketsu Soccer League, which is a second soccer game. They couldn't resist, they made two of them. Oh, he's here now. Hi. Oh, we're not paying overseas prices, sorry. We're going overseas. We gotta protect our title as the best soccer team made up of dodgeball players. And the best hockey team made up of dodgeball players. Mm -hmm. Oh, you can move them on the title screen. That's neat. Oh, that's adorable. Oh, sweet! This is cool! <laughs> I'm doing this. Nice. This is great. He started doing the worm at the last minute there. Let's do a uh, versus play. Okay. Easy, please. They got Cameroon in this one! Yes! The worst team! There's some funky looking dudes in this. I'll be Germany. I'll be Italy. Classic matchup. And we'll fight in Asia with, uh, wait, hang on. <laughs> Let's do bad, worst condition. Okay. In, in the dirt. Okay. Hard rain. Gusty wind. Thunder, hard. Tornado, hard. Wind, Honey, both honey, ways. this is gonna suck. I can't wait. World Cup has high stakes this year. It was Tepid Snake who was streaming earlier. Uh, there was a game called Tecmo World Cup that got re-released, and they had to take out the world from World Cup. And on the flyer, they like they mosaicked over the world the word world, so it looked like it was trying to censor something out, like uh, Tecmo Fuck Cup or something. I'm I'm a I'm a participant in the Tecmo Fuck Cup. Yeah, me too. It's kickoff at the Tecmo Fuck Cup. Oh no, it's quicksand, Alex. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> this is the worst! Why are we playing? Here? Look at me crawling in the sand! <laughs> Getting struck by lightning? Jesus I Christ! I flew away! Did you see that? I literally brought this on myself. A tornado made me fly away! Is this football electrified? It is. Oh no, it's tornado! I've been tornadoed! <laughs> Alex, this is wacky. Where am I? Where am I? In the center. Dead. Dead man in the center. We're all being <laughs> tracked down to the mud, struck by lightning. 
What did we do in a past life to deserve this hellish punishment? There we go. More like punishment. God, it's so hard to get the ball upfield because it's in fucking mud. Because it sucks! Oh, yeah! We did it! How? You earned this, but that was... That's Italians, baby. They can play in the mud. They can play in the lightning storm. Shout out Italy, I guess. Italians just bit, built different. I keep being <laughs> hit by lightning and thrown off screen. It keeps happening. So yeah, in case you can't tell, this is Nintendo World Cup just dialed up to 11. All the weird bullshit they could possibly pull. All the different match types. Lightning, tornadoes, mud, storms. Nobody can even get the damn ball because we're too busy, busy being electrified. We're being electrified and- And the ball is electrified! This sucks, Danny! This- This is the best game of soccer I've ever seen. You know Austin has a soccer team. I don't know if it goes like this, though. Are there tornadoes? I mean, I guess there could be! Shoot that ball, like, ten feet, because it's covered in mud. Shoot it at another guy, electrify you both. Get everyone electrified. <laughs> what a wacky game this is. Who would come out to watch this? We're in the middle of a hurricane or some shit. Some totally twisted people. Oh, you can pick the different songs? What a cool game this is. Look at that animation over there. That's so good. So, if you want, uh, if you want brawling soccer, you have multiple choices when it comes to Kunio Kun games. And finally, the very last game in the Kunio Kun series to be released on Famicom. Dunk Heroes. This game was a prized holy grail among collectors for a long, long time. Pretty rare game. A lot of people want it. That's why it's so expensive. Nowadays, you can just get it in a, in a collection, like a normie. What, you too good to pay $300 for a bear cartridge? Get out of here. He won. I want to be on one of those game shows where they raise you up. Same. Here in the U.S., they just have game shows that drop you in a pit. What the fuck's up with yeah, that? Yeah, it's like in, a, in in America, you fall, and in other countries, they raise you up. It's just it's just different. We want a free trip to America. Uh, can I just get the cash equivalent? <laughs> <laughs> yeah, fair. <laughs> the price is late. Who's gonna say hi, Johnny? Oh, Cunio. Where's the broads? He says. <laughs> Again, I'm saying this could have been Double Dragon. This could have been them, but you plan. Ricky's gonna chase him to the ends of the earth. Gay! Oh, that's so romantic. Gay, 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 Ricky Cunio, gay, 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 gay. Alex, would you attach yourself to the wheels of a plane for me? Yeah. Thinking on it, thinking on it. It's a lot to think about. You but probably, you probably should. I was gonna say I would, I would die when once those, once those wheels retract. You're a dead man. I'm a dead man. You're fine. So. Yeah, it is a stupid idea. You're gonna die. Too late now. I like Cunio's up there just reading the newspaper. Yeah, the wheel well of, of a plane would just kill you. It's all like mechanical moving shit. Holy shit! This is brutal. Ricky, what the fuck? Well, one way or another, we're heading over to the U.S. for a street basketball tournament. Versus mode. You like basketball, Alex? Yeah, I love the San Francisco logo. Texas, what? I have to. I have to be Texas. I gotta. I gotta be Texas. All these logos are amazing. 
Texas. Yeah. Look at that, they got horses. Hey! Uh, I'm gonna be, um... Snipe. Cool. I'll be, uh... Hawk. Oh, you have fancy hair. Where? Which team was yours again? Ooh, um... Right. How did I already forget? Uh, I think I was... Florida? Las Vegas! Okay. That's why my hair looks so good. Got that Las Vegas hair. Mm-hmm. Uh, yeah. The Texas, Texas boys. boys! First the Las Vegas gamblers. And like you might expect, it's basketball, just with River City Ransom mechanics. Right, the B button is to, to shoot the ball at the basket. No, I know the good button is the duck. This is fine. Yeah. See that I'm hitting you with I'm hitting you with the duck, see? See my what's arm? What's the what's the Is this a Las Vegas thing with the duck arms? Yeah. It's just completely lost on us Texas boys. Oh, you can get up on the horse! I want to try Duncan from the horse. Oh, shit! What?! There's another?! Yeah, this is street basketball, where they have multiple baskets. This is maybe the most chaotic Kunio Kun sports game. Which is appropriate. I have a pogo stick! Because it was the last one they released. I want to go... I'm going to dunk off a horse. I don't care if I get points scored against me. I want to get a horse dunk. Okay, try it. Oh, God! <laughs> Where'd it go? Holy shit! Oh, my God. This game is insane. I'm leaving. I can't beat that. That's unfair. You... I'm going to do that again. You jumped off the horse, and you got three baskets in a row. Let's go. Let's go! Ah, oh, it only made it in one. Incredibly impressive. Anytime someone asks if you want to play Texas basketball, you better be ready. There's I gonna love be, the train. There's going to be at least one horse on the field. Fuck! I dunked myself. It's just, it makes sense that Double Dragon was the one that caught out, caught on over here, because it's pretty simple. You just go and beat up some dudes. It's a pretty relatable premise. Who doesn't want to just walk to the right and beat up a bunch of dudes? I'm just saying, though, if we just expanded our horizons a little bit, just a tiny bit, instead of beating up dudes on the street, we could beat up dudes on the basketball court. There could as, be horses. Could. There could be horses. Things could be so much different. I love this game. Alright, here we go. Let's go. Let's go. Yeah! That was slick. Okay, that's... <laughs> See, I can't compete with that! I just... I can't resist the horse dunk. You love horse dunking! I was born in Texas. We get the whole family involved in basketball. That includes the horse. play this out. Let's finish this okay, game. Okay, let's finish it. Who's gonna come out ahead? I think it's gonna be, well... It's gonna be the, the horse dunkers? You think the horse dunkers might get it? The people <laughs> get on top of the horse and the, fucking dunk? The, the Texas horse dunkers. One. If you're good, you can get all three, and of course you get points for all of them, too. I played this once with four players. It is a it is a great time this game. And that's the thing about all the games in this collection, they're all good. Uh, Double Dragon 3 is by far the worst, and that's still okay. And the rest, you're getting a bunch of games that are at least good, some of which are amazing. Alright, my goal is to annoy you as much as I can. Give me that ball. You can't stop me from doing a horse dunk. 
Stop horse dunking. I got kicked up in the air. I think I went through the basket. That should count for points, honestly. I, agree. I think if you fall through a basket, they should just uh, give you like five points. Yeah, it should be more than a three pointer. Horse fail. That's a horse fail. Who no. has? Who has? I have a That's whip. <laughs> Come here, other team. I want to whip your ass. This AI has gotten a single basket. I love them. Texas basketball, hot and spicy. Fighting hard, hardly fighting. Dunk the basketball and eat a big heaping bowl of Wolf Brand chili. Luke, improve your game. Luke! I just realized your player's name is Slot. Yeah, Slot and Luke. Slot and Luke. Do you like my move? That makes sense because you're from Las Vegas. Yeah. I'm gonna do it. No, come back. Oh. Oh, no, fail. Get ball hole go. <laughs> Sorry, I'm mad my guy won't just. Oh, thank you. No. I wish I could just take away all your HP. I don't think you can kill the other team. I know it game, sucks. Unlike the soccer game. Well, Go home, Las Vegas. <laughs> Look at the Texas boys laughing. <laughs> and that is Dunk Heroes, the final Neketsu game released for the Famicom. What a good bunch of games. Holy shit. Not a bad one in the bunch, at least mm -hmm. as far as uh, Kunio Kun is concerned. Double Dragon, it peaked pretty early, and it died an early death, but that was so Kunio Kun could rise up and be an unforgettable presence on the Famicom. Yeah. It was only something like, what, 30 years later that we got to see these games in English? I mean, better late than never, but <laughs> still, I would have loved to play these back in the day. Mm -hmm. What the hell? Instead, we got Double Dragon 3, and that was it. Hmm, what a shame. Shame. Man, I want to go get kicked by a horse and dunk a basketball. Is there any place here in town you can do that? Um, I'm pretty sure they at, they removed axe throwing at pinballs for that. Yeah, for I know horse basketball. I know where we can get uh, go kart racing. I know where we can throw some axes. I mm -hmm. just I just want to get kicked by a horse and dunk a basketball. Don't we all want to do that? Someone tell someone tell all the all the people gentrifying Austin to do horse. <laughs> it's just it's just natural. It's what all humans want. All humans want to be kicked by a horse, honey? Yeah, exactly. And these games delivered that. The things that all humans want. Beating up people, getting kicked by a horse, and having fun with your friends. That's what it's all about. We're done. The show's over. Thank you especially to Neketsu Koha Kuniokun himself, mm -hmm. the old hot-blooded renegade. It's you who made this possible, along with all of our patrons. Yes, thank you, patrons. Thanks, everybody, who voted for this week's poll. Uh, it's because of you that we played a bunch of Kunio Kun games and not a bunch of crusty Atari games. <laughs> Eventually, we'll go back to Atari. That stuff's fascinating to me. We'll, we'll find some reason to get the 2600 back on stream. That's a promise. If you want to vote in our weekly polls, you can head to patreon.com slash retropals, get in at the $5 tier, and you get to vote. That gives you the power to vote. All right, Alex, why don't you wrap us up? I'm going to look for a raid target. We are also on YouTube where we post our full-length highlights. That's youtube.com slash retropals. Uh, we post our latest one, which is our simple 1500 uh, showcase, right? Uh, yes. Cool. It's, it's a simple 1500 roulette part uh, part two, actually. It's real fun. Uh, it's not the one with the kissing noises. That one's later. But do check it out. It's good. We're also on Twitter, twitter.com slash RetroPalsHQ. Post when we go live there when we've got new stuff up on YouTube and all that. So do check us out. And last but not least, we uh, do have a Discord. Let me just put that link in the chat. And uh, you can go there, chat about games, cat pics, uh, dogs. Also a good chat topic. 
Dog's always a good topic. Listen, I'm, I'm, I'm trying to fill time. <laughs> <laughs> good work, Alex. You did Thank a good you. job filling time tonight. Oh, I do my best. Folks, we are going to raid someone I have never raided before, so please be nice. Please be supportive. This is Clavio, who is playing Ganbari Goemon for Super Nintendo, the old Legend of the Mystical Ninja. This is a personal favorite. I love this game, and uh, hopefully she does too. Enjoy that. Have a good rest of your evening. We'll see you later. Thanks for watching. See ya, folks.